Welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips. In this tutorial, we're looking at how to draw a compound area much the same as this one. If I go to a blank canvas and begin by selecting the Rectangles and Squares tools, tool and clicking and dragging an area. If you haven't got the shape and fill that you want, it's a matter of just clicking the colour to get the one you want. I'll go back to the grey. Or shift clicking to get the border colour you want. I'll go for red now. Now I go shift black. Shift click the back to go back to the black border. Click away. You can see I've got a grey rectangle with a black border. Now I want to ensure I've got the snapping tools on. This icon up here controls all of the snapping groups. There's a group here to do with uh, bounding boxes. There's a group here to do with paths and nodes. There's a group here to do with centres of objects and rotation centres. But uh, I've got the Snap to Paths turned on, which is the main one I think for this tutorial. If I now click the rectangle tool again and click on a corner, yep, I can drag an area like that that's aligned on the, the right side. Click the Select tool, Shift click to select the bigger area as well, then Path Union, and I've got one big area. If I want to cut an area out, and I'm snapping to the path there. Select tool, shift click, this time path difference, and we chop out an area. I can do that with a circle or an ellipse. Control shift to draw from the center outwards. Select tool, you can reposition that if you need to. Shift click to select the bigger area, again path difference. So you can see you can produce compound areas pretty quickly and pretty easily. As far as dimensions go, I typically just use the text tool, click and type my dimensions. If it's a bit big, I usually zoom in to get more scaling flexibility. Control, drag down a little bit. Hit one on the keyboard to go back to one to one. And then I just drag my dimensions. You can click on it and Control D to duplicate. If you've got other ones the same, or even if they're not the same, Control D to duplicate, and you can then edit them. Clicking the text tool produces the eye beam, and change that to, to whatever dimension. I won't keep doing that, but you've got the idea there. If you did want to put an arrow on a side, you can use the Bezier pen tool. I might uh, look. I just draw this roughly in position. I'll do it deliberately, not quite the right size. Control to draw a horizontal line, click and enter. I'll let go or something's happened there, I'll try again. Click, control, click, enter. Again you can change the dimensions of that line. It looks a little bit thin so if I go over the stroke style over here, which is in the fill and stroke, control shift F menu, make that 0 0.4 or something like that, that's a bit thicker. There we go. I can put arrow heads on that by selecting under here under the fill and stroke. There's the left one and the right one. Might be that one. It looks the same. You can zoom in to get a better look at them. Now to line these up I'm going to dra uh, drag guides from the ruler. So click on the left hand ruler. Try again. Click on the left hand ruler and that snaps to the path. Oh, Click on another one, drag it across to the right hand side. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit here. If I click on this line and try and notice there, I'll zoom in even more, it's gone past the line. It's trying to snap to a node that's somewhere in there. If I click on the nodes tool, yeah, it's snapping to a node. I'll go back to the select tool and again hold control and see if I can just drag it to get it to snap. Yeah, there I go. It's just a matter of zooming in, getting the position you need. I'll zoom out. Scroll across, zoom in here again, click and drag that just very slowly until it snaps on there. Drag it out, mouse wheel and scroll out, and there we go. Perhaps I should have done two single arrows there, but uh, since we've got the double headed arrow, I'm going to draw a rectangle just over the middle while oh, it's snapping. I'm going to turn the snapping behaviour off in one hit for all snapping guides up there. Change the fill to white. 
and shift click on the red cross for no stroke and move this up and that's one quick and uh, cheap way of breaking the double headed arrow into two arrows without really changing it. If I clip, click on some text or copy, duplicate some others, control D and then drag that down on top there, click the text tool and I might change that to, well I'll change it to 12 metres and there we go. You can change the colours of these dimensions like I had in the opening shot but for most purposes you're wanting to photocopy so I'll leave it as black and white. Just one final thing to remove the guides I can either double click on each one and click delete or I can go up to the view menu and take the tick off view guides and stop viewing them that way. I can also of course drag around the select, select the diagram, control C to copy, open up Word, let's get rid of this from a previous tutorial and control V to paste. Comes in quite large but that's good because as you shrink it down it gets even sharper. So shift and drag, shrink that down in Word. That completes the tutorial. Thanks again for watching.